Loop Quantum Gravity. While the name may inspire images of sci-fi and all that the genre encompasses, this theory is closer to reality than Hollywood's many interpretations may let on. We have to start at the beginning, at the Big Bang. Now, that's pretty simple. Lots of energy gathered, rapid expansion, things got spicy, and boom, new universe. But maybe that's not quite right. Evidence shows that the Big Bang was possibly just one event in a sequence of instances. The Big Bang has been the prevailing model since its earliest debut in 1927, while the Big Bounce remained in the background despite being equally as credible. It appeared on the scene in 1987, first mentioned by name in a German article, and eventually books on the topic begin to emerge. The Big Bounce was a period of contraction directly after the Big Bang's expansion, Time goes on, and eventually a big crunch ends the cycle, and the whole thing starts over again. This allows the possibility that we are just a single iteration of a long line of Earths. Or maybe, possibly, we are the very first. How does this connect to loop quantum gravity? Like string theory, loop quantum gravity provides a unique lens to observe the universe through. Space-time, the thermodynamics of black holes, and the distribution of space and, well, space are just a few examples. Now, explaining exactly how loop quantum gravity works with all the technical details included is a real headache. So I'm going to keep it sweet and simple, specifically avoiding the math. So what if space wasn't as empty as we thought it was? Not necessarily in that way. Space is iconically known as being void, empty, and dark. But it really isn't like that. Loop quantum gravity proposes that space is woven together, creating an endless span of connections. Scientists have even created physical models to help us better visualize how loop quantum gravity actually functions. By weaving together a series of interlinking chains, scientists have created a very simple model of what loop quantum gravity may possibly look like. To summarize in a single sentence, Loop quantum gravity suggests that all matter, including space, has an atomic structure. This means space can have and house reactions just like any object due to that state, allowing events like the Big Bang, Bounce, and Crunch to even occur. To abbreviate even further, there's no space in space. Go figure. Every single thing regardless of size or location, is working together to allow the universe to function. As I stated earlier, this ties in the analysis of the Big Bang, Bounce, and Crunch. Before any life developed, the rules that the universe followed were small and lacked complexity. But with the sudden expansion, systems changed and grew more complex, intricate enough to accommodate different life forms to grow and change into the Earth we recognize today. Imagine this pre-expansion universe as a small neighborhood. Everyone knows each other, life is simple, and a surprise is truly rare. The neighbors aren't peculiar, they keep to themselves. There may be gossip here and there, but no true animosity between anyone. Life goes on, primarily unchanged. But post-expansion, the universe is different. The universe is now a city. A very, very big city full of different types of people who are different ages, with different backgrounds, and different jobs, with different dreams. With so many people, it's unpredictable what exactly will occur. Some events for the better or for the worse. But because there's so much variety, because of this gathering of unknown factors, different minds, anything can happen. And it might just be something amazing. While a city might be a bit more scary and unpredictable than that small neighborhood, the potential outweighs the risk. This is why loop quantum gravity and all theories past and present are vital. The world is big. The universe is bigger. Through science, we can explore this vast expanse that surrounds us, and we can attempt not only to understand it, but to truly appreciate it. Loop quantum gravity is just one more avenue we can explore.